Also, I I'm gonna watch one of these. I love the the little previously on deadly premonition things. <laughs> I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Green. I'm Sheriff George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something. Do you think this now. game did it better or Alan Wake? Feel it this game. Me too. <laughs> so if nobody's seen much D4. The, that game, because that's an, an episodic game too. Uh, the first season is out. Uh, it's no broken. idea when the second season slated to come out. I've been but, um, using that one for a long. Time. It has like an opening, like it's, it has like a TV show theme repair? song intro, and it's amazing. It's actually really well done. Right? That's great. It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies? Of course she did. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies too. I've never been to a movie theater though. We all love movies. Give me that train card. Ugh, that face. A sugar donut! Looks a little bit like Bieber before he became a punk. <laughs> not, not the donut. D4 seems to have some really good music in it. Your. <clears throat> See, that kid looks more normal than those two other kids. Yeah. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. I'm trying not to eat this orange in the messiest way possible. <laughs> <laughs> hold your breath. Hold your breath. While well, I'm eating the orange, that's a good Keep idea. holding your breath. Well, I mean, then they can't, they don't know you're there eating the orange if you hold your breath. Mm hmm They could smell the orange. So I, I love this bit here. I was like, hey, hold your breath. We have to sneak by this guy. And then when they get right next to him, they just stop. <laughs> Gotta up they, the drama. They just stop for an incredibly long time. <laughs> Traff's Grady. <laughs> I can't believe they're still there. <laughs> yeah. I do like that the weird zombie people have those, like, really weird mouths, though. Mm hmm. Pretty cool. York has some amazing lung capacity. A <laughs> little kid, too. Travis was in Origins, not Homecoming. Person in the chat. <laughs> mm. Homecoming was Alex. The Pickles. That was his nickname, The Pickles. Mm -hmm. The Pickles. Alex the Pickles Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did drive Alex to... Oh, you! Oh, you out nerded me. Oh, did he? Oh, they got me. Huh? Yeah. Travis did 
truck Alex right on into the town. Just saw someone hitchhiking out of an, an asylum and said, okay. Continues to intensify. A forest of this red trees. Nice. A carpet with red leaves. A strange doll. And twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. Time for some wake and bake, York. <laughs> this game makes a lot more sense if you imagine yeah, that he's not smoking normal cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. He's just <laughs> rolling re coffee. really skinny cigarettes packed with weed. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, Let's the glitch the didn't happen this time. I hope they what have was some it? Coffee. So I, I really played. Need some coffee. Like the then first. Can head to the sheriff's office. Hour or so of this game. Procedure for everything. Earlier right, today. You said you had never played this before. That was a lie. You just lied to all of us, chat. <laughs> I haven't played much of this game except for the very beginning chunk right here. Mm. I didn't really like know what the differences that. were. Well, anyways. <laughs> so, you know, York's tie has some physics. Ooh, look at it go. But uh, when I played the first time, because, you know, there's the little uh, shorter end of the tie... And uh, it physics out in a really weird way when York spawned in this room after the cutscene, <laughs> so that it was clipping through his back. It was like completely rigid, and it was sticking out of his back like the back of his neck, oh and God. it was like vibrating. <laughs> it, it just kept clipping through him and like colliding with his body, so it just kept vibrating. Man, you should have recorded that. Mm. Sounds pretty great. I saw other screenshots of that glitch, and I was confident it would happen again. It mm. Wow. Well, good job fixing it. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> Ruined it for everybody. Oh, that's right. We already have some suits. We should see what suits we got. Uh, we're wearing the agent. We also have the workaholic. Oh, my God. Uh, and we got crimson. Wow. That workaholic. Which is really weird because... Hmm. I thought the workaholic suit looked different than this one. Yeah, I don't... Because I thought Workaholic was just like a light blue one or something. I'm pretty sure I need to wear the Workaholic suit, right? Mm-hmm. Blam. Now you're cosplaying as the Hawaiian Punch mascot. Alright. Oh my god, the tie, too. Holy shit. <laughs> oh man, that red with that blue is amazing. Wow. Wow. Let's turn the TV on. That's amazing. What's happening on the TV? You look like an ugly couch from the 70s. The news says, I love Forest of Rain forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> uh. So, other things you can do in this game that are amazing? Oh, actually, I need to take a look at these things. Anytime you see any sort of poster or paper pinned up on the wall, you should probably look at it, because it's probably going to have things Really spelled. funny textures. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this there's just this little poster here that just says, Barry. Barry. <laughs> Which is um, English, because, look, there's two different kinds of berries, so it should be berries. Mm -hmm. Not berry. <laughs> Uh, one of my favorite things you can do in this game, though, uh, is shave. That's my least favorite thing to do, because I like York with a bushy beard. <laughs> well, I mean, I, li I like that there's shaving in this game, because it means there's also real-time facial hair growth in the game. He beat Hideo Kojima to it. <laughs> I wouldn't call it real-time. Well, as close as it needs to time. be in a video game. <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you don't shave, York will eventually get a pretty rad-looking beard. Also, you have to, like, change clothes every once in a while, because if you don't, York will get all stinky, and flies will start buzzing around him. And you get, like, a demerit. Yeah, you also get... Money. I also just got paid for, for shaving. I got 12 bucks. Oh, oh, man, yeah, change the pole to make it a beard pole. Oh. Yes. Query about beards. What's everyone's beard preferences? Uh, where'd that window go? Here we go. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet job if you get paid for shaving. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you get a demerit for the beard. 
Nope. I don't think you do. Because you look damn good in a beard. That's why. <laughs> Who would punish you for such a thing? Looking good. What kind of beard preferences should be in this poll? Just beard and no beard? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only two options. I mean, you can, like... You don't just go straight from nothing to beard. Yeah. But you can't really maintain a level of middle ground beard. So I guess I would make it black and white. There will be three options. Poll has begun. <laughs> <laughs> Voting maximum beard. <laughs> no beard. Some beard. Maximum beard. <laughs> I wish you could get like a real long, like a Gandalf beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like a fucking wizard from the mm. FBI. <laughs> oh, that would be so good. Oh man, got some coffee milk. You can also go up to certain TVs and check the weather. Today is a fine, clear day, a perfect day to have a walk. I just made 12 bucks for checking the weather. God, you have such an easy job. What's in this microwave? It's creepy that the FBI knows exactly what you're doing at every moment, though, and awards you, you depending. You got egg. Microwave and an egg doesn't sound like a great idea. Sounds like a perfect idea to me. Wouldn't it explode? Don't eggs explode in the microwave? I would think so, yeah. <laughs> Anything else in the microwave? No. I would love if it just kept spitting eggs out at me. <laughs> well, there's a hen in there. Ah. I so can examine, like, every single thing up in this little history of industry thing over here. Better watch out for hunting aficionados among the ladies here. <laughs> So many kids would skip school that they just closed it down during hunting day. I deer never need to be in a town that does things like that. <laughs> deer hunting helps keep the deer population in check, thus maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Could homicides be helping us keep our own numbers in check, I wonder? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, don't have thoughts should, like that. It should be the deer killing us for it to be really balanced, <laughs> you know? FBI bucks up here. Man, when is uh when is Alan Wake aw arriving for Deerfest? <laughs> Deerfest! Woo! I think we all learned a little something today. Mm-hmm. Really makes you think. <laughs> in the word in the wise words of Charles Martinet. <laughs> really makes you think. Really makes you think. <laughs> oh, wait, this is my room again. Whoops. It's a soupy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soupy. Hello, soup. <laughs> so, f for people who do not know watching this, uh, Charles Martinet does lots of vines and Instagram he's videos of, now. He's the voice of Mario, for those who don't know who Charles Martinet is. Mario and Luigi and Waluigi and Mario and. Yeah, he does lots of... He always has, like, Mario and Luigi dolls or action figures with them, and he keeps doing, like, little skits with them. And it's and they're, fucking hilarious. They're always pretty weird. Because he's always out somewhere. There's always animals, or he's in, like, some restaurant's kitchen watching soup be made. And getting in the way of the busy kitchen staff, I'm sure. Yeah. Hey, do you want a five-pack of lollipops? Well, that's going to be twenty four forty five, mister. <laughs> Hey, how about a four pack of crackers? Thirty five fifty six. These crackers better be the best crackers I've ever had in my damn life. <laughs> Some expensive ass snacks. They better be really Caviar good. crackers. Now here's the song everybody has been waiting for, probably. Woo! Good 
Good morning, Mr. Morgan. He almost blends in with the carpet if he were to lay down. <laughs> yeah. Just camouflage. Mm hmm. Life is beautiful. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. I bet she's the murderer. <gasps> well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Thank you, Polly. I love that they actually animated her rolling her sleeves up. Is everything all right? <laughs> yeah, right? Mr. Isn't that bizarre? Yes. They had the budget it's for the that, but <laughs> My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. I like how in the original version of this cutscene, the music is so loud that you can't I couldn't you can't really hear the characters talking, and they're shouting from across the table, but it sounds like they're shouting over the music. Yeah. <laughs> That's the funniest shit ever. I, I this is like the, one of the funnier moments. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Beginning of the game for me when I, I first played this. If there were any other guests or workers here. Oh no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension, but I have to admit, <laughs> running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you <laughs> I love that you could sit animation York does where he points. Oh, look, Mr. Morgan. Mm. You're embarrassing <laughs> me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, Ooh, but I'm fine over here. I'm gonna wash my hands. I have orange juice I all over it. I can hear right. you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all Here's the space. kazoos. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room. Hello. Really? Hi. I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Mm -hmm. Do I ask her about the town? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know God, that blue already. shirt is just probably the perfect, the perfect quite uncomplimentary off. color for this outfit. Nice place, yeah. Surrounded with nature, it was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. We used to have a population of over six thousand. I miss the kazoos, apparently. That's yeah, you miss the kazoos. It's playing the, it's playing the other, one of the other songs. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's okay. That's why this place is so big. I can't hear them anyway because I got the stream muted. I have so yeah. many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous. By the way, the people want maximum beard in almost a, pretty much a landslide here. All right, I will go for maximum beard. Go beard or go home. It's a beautiful sound. I love that love too, little like trinket it. in the background oh, spinning. Yeah. Else like to know Agent points just in the background of a cutscene. I yes, hate seeing collectibles in cutscenes. That drives me freaking up the tell wall. Me about the mm -hmm. shops around here. Shops? Well, there aren't okay, the many. Back. <laughs> it is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. Are there 15 sure songs? I feel like it's less than that. I feel like there's like 10 or less. Mm -hmm. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. If you want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 25 songs? I don't what? Much for either of them. Dang. Bars are ah, really that's fun. crazy. We also have a gas stand, of course. The art gallery and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. I love that little thing well, he has Mr. for throwing Martin, his cigarettes away. I better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll so bring polite. Your coffee out in a Don't moment. want a litter. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. 
The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. I hate when York smiles. He's got these little tiny chiclet teeth. <laughs> It's like he's got too many in his skull. Mm -hmm. His face also just contorts in a way that does not look natural. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> look with interest. I want to look boringly in there. Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a clear as day. F K in the coffee. Knew I could count on it. Never fails. He's gonna smile. It's gonna be creepy. <laughs> He's gonna do it. I know it's coming up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> also, it kind of looks like he has Odo ears. Like they're not quite. Oh full yeah. Correctly, you can yeah. only really see it in cutscenes because it's too far away. I grabbed the collectible. Finally. Another thing you can do in here, and in a couple other places, is you can get even more coffee and have your fortune told. Mm-hmm. Yep. God, what a waste of food. <laughs> Nobody freaking stays in this place. There's breakfast out every morning. Unexpected troubles coming your way. Lucky item, lighter. There's always trouble heading my way in this job. So, like, these don't but matter. always up for a little right. excitement, too. Right. It's just for York to say something bizarre. Yeah. I think sometimes they actually change to foreshadow stuff in the story. Really? I, I believe so, yeah. Oh man, there's fortune cookies getting D4? Hell yes. Oh yes. That's great. So I've only seen one cutscene from D4, but it was also like perfectly strange without trying hard. And it was with, with the protagonist eating with his detective buddy talking about how he got in an argument with his wife or his sister about or something Chowder, about, right? yeah, about how Boston, she doesn't agree that Boston, Boston has the best clam chowder. And they're doing this while eating, and it's like they keep talking about clam chowder because they have like these really hilarious, hilarious Boston accents. Ugh, that's and, my like, least favorite accent. And he's talking about, you gotta, you gotta be with me. I just got the best clam chowder. And while he's doing this, he like picks up four slices of pizza and stacks them all on top of each other and shoves them all into his mouth at once. Oh <laughs> Well, I want to play D four really bad. I I gotta I gotta watch this cutscene. Mm -hmm. Really. Going through these other rooms, see if we got any more. Yeah, here's the one I wanted. Another first aid kit. My dog's barking at something. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog. Woof woof woof. I got it. I got all the barriers closed that that are between me and this dog. You can, can still hear him. Bark, 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 <laughs> bark, bark, bark. <laughs> No, that's the other dog. <laughs> Gotta talk to Polly again, because she's got something I need. Oh, hi. I wish I liked anything from the ocean, because I wish I liked clam chowder. Because mm. it looks good. Mm -hmm. It looks really filling and warm and, like... Oh no, it looks really soothing to eat. I've never had a chowder. Mm -hmm. Also, I love those little crackers that come with chowders, those oyster crackers. Mm -hmm. They don't have oyster in them, they just look like little oysters. Oh. They're delicious. So the thing I need to buy from Polly is a fishing rod. Mm hmm. Got to buy some bait. That that fishing rod was a hundred and twenty-five dollars. And so was like the donut or whatever. Hey, do you want six worms? Okay, hundred and twenty bucks, fucker. <laughs> yeah. I need exactly six worms. <laughs> Time to leave. Oh, that's right, I should have bought the cheese. Oh well, I can get cheese later. <laughs> Clam chowder. Your fa your family history indicates that you get allergic to clam chowder at 30? Hmm. 
That's bizarre. I thought that I was allergic to seafood because, like, whenever I have anything that has seafood. What about turkey sandwich? Uh, uh. What How is that a turkey sandwich? What is in that turkey sandwich? Allegedly, it's like purple cabbage, but it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. I thought I might have been allergic to seafood stuff, because not only do I not like it, but it kind of feels Please like cut. my chest gets tight when I have seafood. Mm. But I had an allergy test and, like, nothing came up. At no. all. Zero food. Not seafood. Not coffee, because I thought maybe I would be allergic to coffee too. Mm -hmm. George to thank for Turns out I'm just literally the biggest baby. A oh, surprise, well. hey, Zach. Let's take it so baby step. that my body scares me. <laughs> me too, sometimes. <laughs> my body scares me. <laughs> I have to tell you, Zach, this too attractive. <laughs> simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. Well, at least you didn't have squid ink explode in your mouth, which happened Values. to me in a Chinese place. Let's head over to Ugh. the sheriff's department. That sounds pretty bad, but you were eating a squid. <laughs> it's not like you bit into a sandwich or an apple and it happened. Mm -hmm. That would have been bad. So we just got a key that lets us immediately hop into any police car anywhere. Mm -hmm. First person driving. <laughs> so you can actually change it to be third person, but the ca camera <laughs> for driving third person is actually worse because when you make even the slightest of turns, the camera whips around like crazy. I hate Whatever. it. I hate this. Look how much it turns just when I turn touch left a little. I hate that. I just want to look straight. I drive in first person in this game. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> yeah. I can't drive in first person. Also, also because I have no idea where I'm going. Yeah. That doesn't help. Like also, I spent a shitload of time driving in this game. I never got the radio so I could teleport places. And I still never figured out wherever, where the fuck I was. I eventually ever. learned where stuff was pretty well. And I still have like a vague memory. I never did. Okay. Just like in real life, I have to drive someplace around in a place for like years for me to understand oh, shit. the layout. I just forgot. When you're driving around... Oh, did the prompt go away? Oh, here we go. Uh... There are conversations in the car, and they're fantastic. So, yes, they're so good. About those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even <laughs> if they do, it's a trailer, and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Oh, I missed it. What game? What? What, deck we bought. The, what movie was he talking about? He hasn't talked about a specific, specific one yet. Oh, uh, I thought he was talking about a trailer. Just trying to find just, a good movie just to rent. Star Wars. DVDs in general. Many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John <laughs> DiBello. It was really awful, but. For some reason, I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was. I love that he has an encyclopedic memory of these <laughs> bad movies and who directed them and when they came out. Mm -hmm. But that was around the time I joined the bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. <laughs> he didn't even get to see it, and he's like talking about it. Yeah. I love those conversations so much. But yeah, when you're driving cars in this game, they, they actually have gas in them. You can run out of gas and then not, <laughs> then you're stranded. Mm -hmm. Or damage the car enough that you get stranded. But that's every game. Mm -hmm. But most games that have driving have a lot of cars to steal. <laughs> mm -hmm. This game does not have cars to steal like that. You have to use flares instead. Mm. Or buy cars. You can't just go into somebody else's car. Mm. <sighs> there are consequences for property damage. Mm -hmm. When you're driving, if you, if you hit uh, stuff, there's consequences uh, for property damage. Oh, it's uh. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. 
Andy. <laughs> I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Andy from Twin Peaks. <laughs> FBI special Pretty much. Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. You should just introduce himself as York Morgan <laughs> so people can call him York. No, no, just yeah. Just doing my job. I just... Well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright... Thomas always looks like his neck hurts. Did you know her well? Yeah. He's always like got his head cocked well, to one side. No, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay. Let me know when things are ready. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type. Totally <laughs> at odds with the monarch. Oh, I see. His animations are all the same. <laughs> yep. Okay. Before we do any of that plot stuff, remember correctly, there's a side quest we could do, like, immediately here. Probably. Oh, it's, is, does this place have some weird posters in it? Or is it a different room? Posters? Yeah, it's, it's a different room. There's some photos and posters on the walls in this police station. One of them has a really funny typo on it. Emily's here, though. I don't know. Hi. <laughs> Observe. You get an info gathering bonus every time you talk to somebody and they have something new to say. Emily has three things to say, I think, so I can get a whole bunch of money just for talking Hi. to this lady. I love these random cops that have, like, totally different looking outfits than all the other, like, character cops. Yeah. Whew. Getting paid. Yeah, ah, here we go. Zach, look at this. Oh, now this is Oh yeah, special. this one. I forgot the about this. Of the old frontier uh -huh. sheriff's office. It's perfect. A stuffed deer's head on the wall. Woof, woof, woof. A, flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle. Amazing. You'd never see a hunting <laughs> rifle on the wall of a police department in the city. That's just amazing. Wonder if the sheriff would ever let me shoot it. So there's a whole bunch of side quests in this game. There's like 50 or so of them. George has got the first one. Technically, the fourth one. George, do you yeah. look out every day? The first one doesn't appear until like way into the game. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise. I think he's gonna bust out of that leather jacket. I my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. You think George does CrossFit? I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Maybe. Well, this is a small town. They probably don't have CrossFit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if he lived in the city, he'd be way into CrossFit. Yeah, how many quests are there? Yeah, there are 50. Some of these quests get you really, really good things that are like almost essential for playing the game. <laughs> and this quest is required uh, to get like the most essential thing you need in this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that you can fast travel. And it's so easy to miss. <laughs> yep. Sucks. Pretty much all the quests are easy to miss. Yeah. Because this game also works on a... Uh, yeah, here's the post I was talking about. 
sheriff, and host since 1950. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, There's a bunch of horses. Yeah. Oh, they misspelled horse. It's they horse. misspelled horse. I see. I see. <laughs> um, but uh, this game has a day-night cycle, and all the NPCs are doing different things at different times of the day, kind of like Majora's Mask or something. Their quests are only available for certain times of the day, and yada yada. A couple of them are kind of hard to do, and take a lot of work. Also, one of my other favorite things is uh, you can shave anywhere there is a sink. <laughs> yep. You don't even need <laughs> so a mirror. Gross. You just I could just go into this kitchen and shave in their sink. Ugh. Right next to all the food. Ugh. Turkey sandwich. Or... Oh, excuse me. It's a trading card for a turkey sandwich. <laughs> Turkey sandwich with little beard hairs in it. Zach, we found Arnold. Let's get him back to George. Guess it's a cute name for a dumbbell. Found Arnold. Arnold. Okay, like just was contemplating the dumbbell for a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. It's like appreciating it, getting a real good look at it. Oh, here he is. Found your thing. George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit. Why am I so chilly? It's only 71 outside. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. <laughs> I love his happy talking now I can face work when out he's lifting using my normal work. <laughs> Arnold. Good to hear that. Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. I got a trading card of his dumbbells. <laughs> did so did he say workout menu? I, you I think he did. You know <laughs> I think he meant routine. No changes to how we work. The menu. Together. Just bear that in mind. Zach? He needs some friends who aren't so dumb. I love, I love the little jingle for completing quests because it's like boop boop boop. It was like a little like, <laughs> it's a little like waka waka. That was wacky. <laughs> I love how the mirrors work in this game. I mean, they oh. they could have just been like, no, it's silver. That's what mirrors look like. But they actually made them reflect. Yeah, the reflections are kind of assy looking but yeah but there's so there. many games where mirrors don't even work at all mm -hmm. especially low budget games yeah iron body <laughs> look at all these low res buff dudes oh yeah Ugh. <laughs> those dudes are too buff mm -hmm. Were there trading cards of Twin Peaks? I want some. <laughs> They're probably like really expensive collector's items if that if that's a thing. Mm. There's a whole bunch of different squirrel keys you can find, and only one of them is the right one. Mm -hmm. For some reason, every key is a different kind you of squirrel. Just because. Is this the one you were looking it's for? It's hilarious. I love how he presents the keys. This is mm -hmm. a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the key. <laughs> Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. You can find them in the U.S., Canada, and in England, too. A gray squirrel. No, you fool. What was I thinking? The wrong squirrel. We're looking for a southern I thought you were from the FBI. Right <laughs> I like jokers like you in the FBI. Can't even <sighs> recognize a certain kind of squirrel. Oh, gotta wait for Emily to open the door. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> ah, she's very cautious about it. 
Look at these two guys just kind of staring at each other. <laughs> say. Say. <laughs> say yourself. I can't tell if they're clones of each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> box. Yes, there were five FBI dollars in there. Now why would they keep those in there? Jeez. Just hiding them everywhere. Oh, oh wait. Oh, yes. It's also this little shooting range down here, and if you actually like shoot the the center target of all of these for a while, each one of them will drop an item. Mm-hmm. But it takes a little while. Different items because they're going at different speeds. I think all of them. Yeah, the ones further down are harder to shoot. Some of the items are pretty good. They give you like first aid kits and stuff. Yeah. Proper healing items. Another thing Chemical. that I love is that you can sleep on any bed, even the jail cell beds. You can just come in here and just go to sleep in a jail cell if you want. XYZ, what a what. Mm -hmm. You're unorthodox. You're from the FBI, man. <laughs> Sleep wherever you want. It's mm -hmm. a lot, I think. Well, I am FBI. Nobody People can just say gotta let you. Me. Yep. Has something to do with that? That like constitutional thing? <laughs> Bill of Rights, something or other, where you have to like let the militia sleep in your house. Mm -hmm. It's it's like that. I found the key. That's the law. That's the right mm -hmm. one. Got to listen to your forefathers. Mm hmm. They knew what's best. And there's four of them. <laughs> so they know four times as much as <laughs> best for you. Right in, so please go to the meeting room. Oh, God, that smile. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. <sighs> well, Zach, we just got here and we have <sighs> chase already. <laughs> The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the and become a model. <laughs> but for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her Why am I yawning so boy, much? I don't know. Lives on the insurance money I think I had too much accident. sugar in my snack and now I'm sleepy. Uh, <laughs> I love how tiny those little little After cute all, donuts are. Yeah. <laughs> they look great, but they're, they they're like a single fun, bite. And they led normal you lives. stuff the whole thing normal in your mouth like a sushi roll. Exactly I need like a six-pack to eat. I wonder sense if anyone's now. made little like fake pastries that look like sushi rolls that are like that size. Mm. It's so good. Just take like a Pillsbury uh, in the can cinnamon rolls oh, man. and I'm just like back. wrap some other as bad as him. thing some inside of it. Mm. Then you have a fake it's little a good little sushi. I've got somebody says they do that all the time. Delicious. Man, whatever. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually, I just really want one. <laughs> yeah, it I, sounds good actually. <laughs> I I baked them myself. That's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? They're very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh my. Agent Morgan. The what? The music breaks. just cut out real hard. Well, welcome to a company. <laughs> I don't remember if that's General supposed to be on purpose or Emily? not. No, I think it is supposed to be on purpose. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. But the biscuit. 
Brooke just keeps looking at it like, I don't want to go though! The biscuit! Biscuit! <laughs> Getting paid. <laughs> Isn't the biscuit like one of the best things? Yeah. Best items. Yep. For for the hunger. Mhm. Mm potato. Just eat a whole potato. Just <laughs> plucked plucked right out of the ground. Oh. It was a very good illustration of a potato. Yeah. At least it looked like an illustration. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on. Get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. <laughs> his his well. suit, man. Then I'll ride with you. <laughs> I want to keep an eye on you. I just love how how they a lot of times they just pivot in place. They yeah, don't actually just step to turn around. They just pivot. In this case, <laughs> is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. It's one of the quirks of this game I like. Yeah. <laughs> George, we better get moving. The hospital closes at twenty one hundred. I wonder. Hmm. Because you know they want you to go to the hospital right now so if you try and leave them they're like oh yes boop it's about to rain you can tell because my poncho just materialized out of nowhere <laughs> yeah. oh my god it looks wow. like a gigantic bib when you wear it on top of that <laughs> you're gonna go to an all you can eat lobster place or something dork is just getting ready for all of the baby back ribs he's about to eat oh um, give me my messy. lobster poncho yeah <laughs> but i'm curious <laughs> If I can get them to come to breakfast, if I if I leave them, because it says right there. Breakfast. breakfast it says it's open. open. Yeah, go go do it. Because I mean, if I leave them right now, they will leave and go to the hospital. So I don't. Yeah, know Yeah, they leave back. without you. Let's find out. That's right. They do. Because if, if I if you don't drive with them, you also miss out on a conversation in the car. I don't remember it being like a particularly very funny conversation, but. I'll tell them to go on ahead. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. You do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. That license plate says spy fiction. It's your video game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go back in, because... Around this time, every single day of the game, Thomas makes breakfast, and they're... Every, like, new section of the game, there's a new cutscene for having breakfast with all your buddies. And that's usually way funnier than car conversations, I think. Yeah. Also, I should probably save again because I'm just so worried about this game crashing at any <laughs> moment. That's understandable. I hope it's this room, right? Which room has the breakfast? That's the locker room. <laughs> I, I'm just instantly forgetting which one is the, the big room. I think it's uh, down the hallway to the right. But I'm this place, uh, right here. Yeah, I thought it was. You have to talk to Thomas. Oh, you have to talk to Thomas. Okay. Does the map say where Thomas is? Where's he hanging out? Is he just in the kitchen? Maybe he's just in the kitchen. Ugh, the maps. Yeah. So one of the, oh, there it is. Now it's pointing. Thomas is in there. Lunch. <laughs> Thomas, lunch. I need lunch. <laughs> it's too late for breakfast, York. Yes, great. It's nice to be able to eat lunch <laughs> together like this. No matter how much we get along, remember, Agent Morgan is a member of a different organization, and I doubt he'll be of much help with the case. Come on, George, be nice. It's okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> what an asshole. No matter how much we get along, remember, he's really a bad good, person. They do when the FBI 
guy comes to help with the case. George is having a hot dog. I understand the mentality completely. We've all seen it on TV, but it happens in real life all the time. <laughs> so George is the defensive home turf One of those sheriff. city slickers uh, with a fancy suit. Mm -hmm. and the yeah, FBI very fancy. Is going mm -hmm. to Man, look, look at that Just like the TV really detailed shows, hot dog what George has. <laughs> when you're good at what hot you dog. Do, you tend to defend your work aggressively. You simply displayed a perfectly natural reaction. A natural reaction? <laughs> <laughs> her her shocked face. <laughs> Thomas, you've outdone yourself again. The food was delicious, as expected. Amazingly good. Thank you. That ham salad was fantastic. I wish the boys at HQ could get a taste of it. Really? I can give you some of the ham. It's homemade. Mm. Homemade ham. Amazing. Amazing. My mother taught me how to make them. Why do you home make a ham? Mm. I was just that's enough, Thomas. Without We're having a pig. <laughs> Pickles you can home make. I'm gonna leave this intact hot dog behind. Goodbye. Want? Stop wasting time around. I'm not hungry. I rubbed it against yeah, my face a few times, going. but that's as far we'll as I got progress wise. I lunch. absorbed the the essence through my skin. Get I also grew that hot dog in my backyard on my hot dog tree. <laughs> I'm impressed again, Zack. It must be very peaceful here. A law enforcer with the time to make ham. What kind of liquid law. does he have in that cup? I don't know, chocolate milk? Chocolate milk? <laughs> <laughs> chocolate milk or desaturated orange juice? I got 16 bucks for eating lunch. Sweet. Imagine getting paid just because you ate food. God, what I want to live. I want to live in that world. <sighs> Man, one day there's gonna be a food version of Patreon. <laughs> Where it's like, hey, you want to see me eat eat food, not in like a sexual fetish way. <laughs> I just want to see somebody happy to appreciate food. Yeah. Well, here you go. Hey, Patreon, damn. Patreon, oh That's shit. That's pretty good. Damn. Oh, it crashed! Oh, no! There we go. Blong. <laughs>